Now, as Russia faces widespread condemnation over its war in Ukraine, Cuba has emerged as one of Moscow's biggest supporters. The two countries, both subject to U.S. sanctions, are seeking to deepen economic ties through trade and investment. CNN's Patrick Oppmann reports now from Havana. Russian warship sails into Havana. Cuba greets the ship, the Perikop, the first Russian naval vessel to make an official visit in years with a cannon fire salute. It's just the latest sign of the reforging of ties between Russia and Cuba. While much of the rest of the world has denounced Russia for their invasion of Ukraine, Cuban President Miguel Diaz-Canel, seen here alongside Vladimir Putin, inaugurating a statue of Fidel Castro in Moscow in November, defends Russia's war. We are condemning, we are rejecting the expansion of NATO towards Russia's borders. He told Russia today, we condemn all the measures and sanctions that have been applied as a way to coerce the Russian Federation. And Russia increasingly is throwing a lifeline to their old ally just 90 miles from the United States. Since the war in Ukraine began, Russia and Cuba have signed a flurry of new agreements that would open the first supermarket selling Russian food here, increase oil shipments to the island, even develop this beachside community outside of Havana. It appears to be the most significant Russian investment in Cuba in decades. In February, after Russia donated 25,000 tons of wheat, Russia's then ambassador to Cuba said the aid will continue to flow. Russia and Cuba. In spite of the challenges, he says, Russia and Cuba continue developing their strategic relationship based on the historic friendship, solidarity and mutual sympathy between our two countries. The warming of ties for many Cubans feels like a trip back to the future. In this video from the 1960s, narrated by Fidel Castro, Cubans are told how visiting Russian experts would modernize the island. Instead, Cuba grew dependent on Soviet aid. The USSR collapsed and, facing punishing U.S. economic sanctions, the island plunged into a financial abyss from which it is yet to emerge. While Russian officials have suggested re-establishing a military presence on the island, some analysts feel that Moscow no longer has the capability to do so. I think this kind of threats are used more for taunting the United States and for kind of um, uh, for for a, it's a kind of a form of psycho psychological warfare, kind of psyop against the United States. Whatever the future of the renewed ties, it's clear Russia is once again staking a claim in Cuba. Patrick Gottman, CNN, Havana.